kind enough to offer to bring in the anchor. I think he wanted his morning workout in. Jenny and I are happy to watch. Look at this sea turtle. Only five or six miles away so we decided to tow the dinghy a lot of you guys ask isn't it a drag and waste of fuel and all that stuff and it is but it's more of a hassle to hoist it when you're only going five miles in super calm conditions especially motoring not even sailing because the wind is against us right now and it's only five miles so yeah that's why we tow our dinghy sometimes Drop the hook right behind Man of War. I'm just setting the anchor real quick. We generally were in when we're in like shallowish water, like less than 10 feet of water, we let out like and we always drop in a sandy spot as best we can and then we let out all our chain and drift back with the wind and then when the anchor, we think the anchor sets then we back down with both motors to like a quarter to a half throttle maybe something like that just to make sure we're really set and we look at the horizon and pick two point I, that's what i do is that what you do i look at the ground there's normally something on the ground that's staying still that i can look at and make sure we're not moving and sierra's usually on the bow and i'm looking at in the distance at like two points that are far away from each other and see if they're aligned or coming unaligned which means we're moving and dragging we don't want to do that you can also see the chain right the chain kind of jumps up and down a little when It'll you start skip. to drag so here we go backing down good we're holding super light out of the north right now so we're protected by this headland we might get a little bit of swell from this cut right now not nothing really and the wind's just supposed to die the next few days so we're gonna be super protected i don't know how long we st we'll stay here how long are we gonna stay here for uh, i don't know we have to go check out the town apparently it's different than all other islands And we're off. We are gonna go look at these waves over here, and then we're gonna go explore Man of War. We spent the afternoon exploring Manawart Key, which is a clean, quiet island, about two and a half miles long and only a quarter mile wide at its widest. There's a section of the island that's only a few meters wide. Manawart Key is a dry island, meaning no liquor is sold anywhere, and many of the friendly residents hold strong religious values, 
which are represented in the numerous churches on the small island. Manowar Key is probably most famous for its boat building history. According to the Manowar Museum, Benjamin Albury was shipwrecked on Manowar Key in 1820 and soon after married a local farmer's daughter, Eleanor Archer. William Albury and the Albury Shipyard were famous for their well built wood boats, and although William Albury has passed away, the Albury name still lives on in boat building on Manowar Key. Many wooden abaco dinghies are still built around the island and are considered works of art. And the Albury Brothers Boat Building Company have gained a great reputation for their high quality, unique fiberglass motorboats. Boat building is even reflected in the houses on the island where the local carpenters have gained a reputation for building homes that are, quote, built like ships but bolted to the land, which allows them to withstand fierce storms and even hurricanes. Okay, so we're gonna go spear. I'm going to tow Billy while he looks for conch in the area and we're getting ready to go in and he just said he found some lobster. So let's see if he can get any. They're right under the boat. He got one. It's right under our boat. He got another one. We're having lobster for dinner. 